one of ITV's most experienced news correspondents. This was Terry Lloyd yesterday, preparing to lead his team into Iraq. They followed British and American troops filming in areas which had just been captured. Terry filing this report for today's bulletins. This, until a few hours ago, was an Iraqi frontline stronghold. Nothing much to see, just a couple of porter cabins where the Iraqi flag still flies. Shortly afterwards, heading to Basra, their vehicles came under heavy fire. Cameraman Daniel de Moustier was injured but later managed to get to safety. He says British and American troops were in the area when a car drew alongside containing Iraqi officers whom he thought were trying to surrender. And I looked in the car and I saw, um, I think, more high-ranking officers, Iraqi officers, signing to me, doing thumbs up and that way. And exactly at that moment, um, gunfire started hitting us from the right side in the vehicle. Quite strongly, uh, I believe, machine guns or explosive guns. So uh, we, the window was going straight away. I dug down uh, under the steering wheel. Car is keeping, or well, was still going. Uh, I looked to the right and I see the door open and uh, Terry Lloyd was out. But which side did he think the shooting had come from? From the right hand side, the British side. Yeah. He says it's also possible that Iraqi soldiers nearby opened fire. Tonight, Ministry of Defence sources said it was highly speculative to suggest any British troops might have been involved. ITN and the ITV network say every effort is being made to try and find the missing men. Libby Vina, ITV News.